Hi, I'm Miss Ginsburg with No Adam, and today we're going to be reading Animals at Home. Animals at Home. What is your home like? Is it cozy and dry? Animal homes are all shapes and sizes. They keep animals and their babies safe and warm. Here's a hermit crab shell. Rabbit warren. Stork nest. Some animals build their own homes. Many birds make nests. Some use mud, twigs, or grass. Here's a weaver bird nest, an oven bird nest. Others peck out holes in trees. They build their homes using only their beaks. Have you ever seen a bird nest? Thousands of termites work together to build a home. Their mound is very strong and it can be very tall. Inside the tunnels lead to many arch-shaped rooms. So this room is for food stores and this room is a nursery, wow. Paper wasps collect wood and chew it into a pulp. The wasps then use this pulp to make their nest. The queen wasp lays her eggs inside the nest's six-sided cells. Some animals burrow under the ground. Moles dig their tunnels using their sharp front claws. They push the soil away, making hills above the ground. They eat the worms and insects that fall into their tunnels. Beavers build their homes by weaving sticks together with their feet. Their large homes are called lodges. The beaver get in and out of the lodge through an underwater entrance. Some animals live in shells. Tortoises and snails can curl up inside their shells. The shells get bigger as the animals grow. Some insects like silk moths make their own silk threads. They weave the silk around themselves to make cocoons. Their home keeps them safe as they change shape and grow wings. Spiders can make silk too. They use it to make their homes. Some spiders make webs. They eat the insects that get stuck on the strong, sticky silk. Other spiders build silk-lined burrows with a hidden trap door. Here's a trapdoor spider burrow, and here's a spider web. Honeybees make beeswax in their bodies. They use it to make their beehive. There are many six-sided cells inside the hive. Honey is stored in some cells. The bees' young live in others. Here's honey, and here's bee larva. Piles of leaves, rotting logs, and compost heaps may not seem like good places to make a home, but many small animals feed and live in these warm, damp places. There's a hedgehog, a beetle, an ant, and a toad.
Starfish, crabs, and some small fish make their homes in tide pools. They live in the water that collects between the rocks on the seashore. Shellfish and anemones cling to the rocks. There's an anemone and a limpet. Trees are homes for many animals. Birds make nests in the branches. Squirrels build homes called drays in the tree trunk. Here's a dray. Insects live in the bark or on the leaves. Badgers build burrows called sets among the roots. We are not the only ones who live in our dry, cozy houses. Bats may sleep in the attic. Tiny bugs live in the carpets and the furniture. We all want a warm home with food nearby. Glossary. Cocoon, a silk wrapped case made by an insect. Dray, a squirrel's nest. Lodge, a beaver's home. Shell, a hard covering on an animal's back. Web, a spider's home made from its silk. Wow, I learned a lot reading Animals at Home and I had fun too. I hope that you learned a lot and that you had fun also. I'll see you tomorrow with another book. Bye.